Relative dating would be the placement of something in a sequence. So if we establish a sequence for the area, we simply need to know what came first, what came next, what came next, what came next. The oldest deposits would be at the bottom, the youngest deposits would be on the top in kind of layer cake fashion. Sandstone is formed from deposits of sand which are laid down horizontally at the surface. Through time, the sand becomes buried and as it's buried, it's compressed by the weight of overlying sediments deposited on top of it and that compression squeezes out some of the pore space between the grains and puts them closer together. These layers are like pages in a book that represent yearly cycles of time. This red layer right here would be a siltstone that formed at the edge of an ocean and you know it took probably a thousand years to form one inch of it. A thousand years? Yeah. Oh my God. So you're telling me that Incredible. all of human recorded history, going back to the Babylonians and the yeah. Egyptians, would be just that much. Just a few inches. A thousand years per inch on average? On average. Uh, yeah, if you, if you just took the whole length of just the sedimentary rocks in the canyon that have been deposited here. As you walk down this trail, every step you take, you go about 20,000 years into the past. The thing that's neat about Joggins is that because the cliffs are sloped as they are, uh, you can imagine them being laid down flat, so layer upon a layer, and the deeper you go, the older it gets. And then when you walk and tilt it up this way now, when we walk this way, we actually walk back in time. In general, if you walk one kilometer on the beach, you're walking one million years through time in Joggins. So you have 15 kilometers of cliffs, representing 15 million years of Earth's history. When we drill down through the ice sheet, we're drilling further and further back in time. We drilled an ice core that was 364 metres long and the ice that we recovered from the bottom of that ice core is over 20,000 years old. We get seasonal uh, changes in different chemicals in the ice and if, if you can get samples small enough you can actually see those changes and then count annual layers going back in time. We can count them. Summer, winter, summer, winter. Like tree rings, we can date the core. With Greenland cores, oftentimes we can actually see visible layers that change from summer to winter based on the dust concentration. So sort of like tree rings, count those seasons going backwards and get a date that way. In our lab, the oldest ice that we have is about 420,000 years old, and that's from the Vostok ice core drilled in East Antarctica back in the mid-90s.